Healer Court. Yeah. Hello, Taylor. I like that combination. Very pretty. Yes. What are you singing today? I'm singing Broadway Baby from Follies. Lita? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a Broadway baby Walking off my tired feet Pounding 42nd Street To be in a show chance to be in a show. show I ever saw. Sure. But, um, oh my gosh, probably, I guess, ooh, it's so tough, Les Mis. I mean, that's one of my favorites, yeah. definitely. It's one of all of our favorites. I'm Did sure. you see Follies? No, I didn't. It's a revival on it uh, right now. I'll get, I'll get over there. <laughs> <laughs> you can't just be back by next week, yeah. will you? Okay. <laughs> We're going to talk to Dave Sikor. Okay. Um, I thought that was fantastic. I loved your phrasing in the song, and I um, and you're very, very pretty, which is great. And uh, and this is not bad, but you have like this great general musical theater girl thing going on. Like I could put you in any show. Like I feel like your, your marketability is wonderful because your voice is perfect. It fits you, like the look. And I love that. I, um, the only thing I would say is like that song is fantastic, but I I would I feel like you can do more. And I know you don't want to like give it all on the first time you come out here or whatever, but um, since the first time I'm seeing you, uh -huh. I, I wanted to see something else that's like, oh, that's what you can do, whereas now I'm like, oh, that was good. That was great. Okay. Yeah. Does that Thank you. Okay. Robert Mara. Hello. Hi. All right. Oops, sorry, Dave. Um, I love this, this song. I just saw the show. I just got back from New York last week. Fantastic revival. Really one of the most amazing shows I've seen in a long time. Um, now, to you. Um, a lot of people know this song. So it's really, really important to make it your own. Uh -huh. I don't know if I felt that you made specific choices with this. Who was she? Is this a dream that she has? Because I didn't feel that passion. Okay. Okay? Um, and 
Um, a lot of performers run into this problem with a song that's repetitive, because mm -hmm. you know each verse is it needs to be different each time. Okay. We don't want to feel like we've heard that verse already. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. But you look great. Fantastic voice. Thank you. Steve Gladini. Hi. Hi. Uh, so you're really cute. You know that. You got a really solid voice. That's great. Now we come to your song. You have to make a choice. Uh -huh. Are you going to be fun? Or are you going to be sexy? Are you going to be both? If you're going to be both, then go for it. I felt everything was just hinted at. Okay. I didn't feel that anything was a purely conscious decision. And as, as Robert said, you got to make it your own. Okay. Elaine Stritch has a definitive version. Daisy Egan has a definitive version. Bernadette Peters has a definitive We've heard the song a million times. What is Taylor's version of Broadway Baby going to do that's going to make me sit behind a table and hire you for a show? Okay? So just really make it your own and make some solid, solid choices. Do not be afraid to make a choice. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. TJ Dawson. So, um, again, there's not much more to say than what's already been said, but um, what I, I mean, you've actually you've come in for me a few times in audition, and I think you're fantastic and so talented, and you're gorgeous, and you have great sound, but uh, this is a great for, uh, forum for me to be able to actually give you a critique. So um, what has always been lacking for me is the lack of commitment, and it seems as though it's, it's kind of, um, like, for example, this particular song, you know, it doesn't seem like you have beat the street like crazy. It doesn't seem like you really, really, really want it more than anything in life. You know what I mean? And I know that you do. We all do. We're all, you know, in this, this crazy business together. So it's just a matter, I think, of just really, 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 really digging in and committing to your choices. And I think that we'll take it to a, a, a totally different level. Thank you, TJ. Thank you. Thank you, Taylor. What are you singing today? I am singing Take Me to the World by Stephen Sondheim. Look at your eyes. Wow, they're oh, spectacular. I never really you. noticed the color, but it is white. Yep, yeah, excuse me, I'm sorry. Yeah. Everyone see, just kidding. Get right away. Anytime. Okay, thank you.
Taylor Courtney. Sometimes it comes out of nowhere. But it was very nice, and I liked it. So how did you spend your week other than preparing for today? Did you have other things going on? I know you had an audition with uh, oh, yes, I had an audition. the competition. How'd that yeah. go? Really good. I got a call back. You did? Yeah, that's next well, congratulations. week. Congratulations. I know some of the kids did as well. Yes. And are you ex when, when is your call back? This coming week? This Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Nice. Nice. Yeah, a little dancing, singing. I know that's a, a distance for you. She lives in Irvine. Yeah, I'm from Orange County. Mm -hmm. And the callback is out of Thousand Oaks at the Brio Music Theater. But she'll, yeah. she'll handle that. So I'm going to have the judges talk to you. Okay. And we're going to start with Mr. Stephen Glodini. Thank you. Hi. Hi. Uh, you're lovely. Thank you. Um, I thought you started real strong. Okay. And then I kind of got lost okay. about halfway there. I, I don't know. You, we were really connected. I was totally with your story. And then I, not that I got bored, but I felt like, it just needed some more levels. Oh, Once okay. again, it's on hype. It, it's mm. all there on the page. Okay. And, and just take a take some bigger risks with it. Okay. But it, it's a good song for you. Thank you. Stephen Dry. Hi, Taylor. Hi. Um, I felt that the, you know we were in a bubble here, and when you're in a bubble, you kind of see the image in front of you, mm -hmm. and then you turn around in the bubble, and that image. What somebody else is seeing is different at that point of the game, but you're talking to them. I noticed that you included like a lot of people into this, which was great. It was different from anybody else that's done something tonight. Okay. And in the past, um, past uh, competitions that I've judged, it's it it, it's, it wasn't real, but this was real. It, okay. You kept us in a bubble here, but it didn't burst okay. the bubble. Okay, I don't know if that makes sense, but yeah. yeah. Just take a bath. Okay. <laughs> John Malone. Uh, yeah, I thought it was lovely. I really enjoyed what you did with the song. I felt that you owned it. Sometimes song time can be beyond people and they're doing song time, but it doesn't feel like it's their song. And I really feel that, especially at the beginning, like Steve said, uh, it was yours. And then it just, we got to uh -huh. near the end, okay. it just kind of got a little bit away from you. Yeah. And it's always hard to keep the emotions in check and then the vocal on top right. of that. But you did a lovely job with it. Thank you. Thank you, John. Bruce Kimmel. Yeah, the bubbles. <laughs> um, so I felt the bubble was good. Um, you have a beautiful voice. I, I personally don't respond when people prepare, when I see the work of prep, which you did at the top of the mm -hmm. song. You're very factory for me. And uh, you, you should just go to the song. Okay. Just go directly to the song. Um, nobody writes lyrics with more imagery than Stephen Sondheim, and I felt you weren't, there's all kinds of beautiful images in this song, and I felt they were all similar. Oh, okay. And I think if you play with that and color those really specifically, you'll have much more fun with this song. And I also feel it's not a sad song. It's yeah. a song of hope, so I wasn't quite oh, okay. sure why you were weeping at the end, but okay. uh, it's, it's a really nice voice. Thank really you. good job. Thank you, Bruce. Thank you, judges, and thank you, Tim. Thank you. Together. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Oh, you two girls are just amazing today. You're really doing it today. Yeah, thanks. What are you singing? I'm singing I'm Not Alone from Carrie Music. All right, anytime. Thank you. 
big song for a little girl. Oh, thank you. Mm, it was nice. And you know, of course, um, from some of you probably don't know this, but uh, Carrie, the musical is being redone, reimagined, as they say in New York, uh, Broadway. Yeah, it was perfect to get that information from you, and I was able to really find out more about the Oh, and one of our, our stage star uh, contestants from uh, two years ago, Derek Clement, is co-starring in that show in New York. So he's had an amazing rise in stage star, and, and uh, he couldn't be happier being back there. Yeah, it's a pretty... Who would have thunk it to turn Carrie into yeah. a musical? Right? Yeah. I started watching it, a movie. It's not creepy. It's so creepy. It is a, a creepy... Creepy is a good movie. Yeah. Marin Macy's in it. Oh, she's yeah, very exciting, and the young lady that's playing Carrie is also very, very good. So, uh, you had a good week? I did. I was just like everybody else, fighting the cold and yeah. stuff. But um, I just worked on my song, getting ready for school to start next week. So. All right. There'll be a lot of double work then, when you yeah. back to school and doing this. Can handle it. All right. I'm sure you can. Let's see if they can handle it. Jiggle Kitchen. Taylor, that was really lovely. Uh, it was really lovely. Um, you had a really nice build through it. I thought that you sustained pretty much throughout. You know, there were a couple of moments that I could see that you knew mm -hmm. that it wasn't quite what you wanted it to be. But all in all, very, very lovely. Thank you so much. Daniel Solis. I agree. I Look, I wrote lovely also. <laughs> yeah, hi. Good to hi, see you, by the way. You, you sound great, as always. Um, you know, a little bit about the acting choices. You know, at the beginning, you sing, you ask two questions. Was it his voice? Was it his smile? And I think, um, because I think it's going to be a common theme you hear from the table today. Um, you know, those are real questions. You might consider yourself, uh, consider taking them out of the vocal line and really asking the questions. Okay. You know, something like that it might help you um, connect a little bit more with the acting mm -hmm. elements of this. Um, other than that, great. Thank you so much. Thank you. Roger Bean. I thought that was amazing. Uh, I thought that you, you had me from the very first moment, you know, kind, you really took the stage, and I thought that uh, your vocal mix was beautiful, so I really enjoyed it. Thank you so much. Thank you, Roger. Michael Donovan. Hey, Taylor, you sing great. Uh, very pretty voice. I love the beginning. You engage us immediately. Um, what's missing for me is the build. Um, the lyric okay. is, maybe he's a preview of how great my life can be. Isn't that a real emotion change there? Yeah. You know, so then from that point on, shouldn't your emotions just be flying? We didn't see the real breakthrough for me in terms of the joy and the that whole thing to the very, very end. Okay. So I love the build at the beginning, but then I want to see where it goes okay. from there when you kind of grab onto maybe this is the guy or maybe yeah. this is my life is going to change. Just real quick, for me, um, your look, you're such a pretty girl, but we've got a beige dress, beige skin, beige hair, we're beige. Okay. You know what I mean? I'd like to see you in a color. So, okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you, judges, and thank you, Tim. Thank you, Michael. Thank you. What are you singing today? I'm singing Is Someone Out There from In the Beginning by Corey Weston. Thank you. Thank you. But Gordon, it was everything to me. We had no fear, spring was the only season. Heavy down from every tree. It would not be so strange to live within this change if somehow I could understand the reason. Is someone out there? Am I alone? Is someone else in the great unknown? Every day. 
for his grandma. Time. Hi, Graham. Um, Hi, Graham. She deserved a seat for every single performance, but she was sick the first three. So this is the first time she could be here. Welcome. Love you. Thanks for coming. I love you, too. Thanks for coming. How long are you here? The week has been good. Yeah, um, I did a couple exciting things. I saw, I saw this week um, a Cirque du Soleil show that was Michael Jackson themed. Oh. Amazing, beyond amazing. And so last night, it was at the Honda Center, but it oh, might the be Honda there Center. now. Oh. Um, it was just there for two nights. It was incredible, just an awesome tribute to Michael Jackson. Yeah, I'm sure awesome. that's what I did. Yeah. Like. They have another Cirque show at the Kodak. I right. Uh huh. I'm obsessed. Some... Cirque du Soleil. Yeah. So crazy. Iris or something. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. All right, well, I'm excited to hear what the judges have to say after that you. lovely performance. We're going to start with Mr. Richard Israel. Great job. Thank you. Really lovely. I, I think you have a fantastic voice, Thank and you. you are super well put together. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, my only thing, and I think it's more the song choice than okay. your execution, it's something we've kind of run into before, which is that it, it's a little bit one note. The song okay. itself, the structure okay. of the song. And I... Uh, and, if you're faced with a song that has a bunch of questions, you have to just make them all different, and I would not know how to do that with this song. So okay. you, you did a great job of that, and if you hang on to it, just find, just keep finding different tactics, different ways of asking the questions. Okay. But I might recommend a different song just because I think it, it is inherently a little one. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Richard. Dave Sikor. Um I, I like the song a lot. I think it sounds pretty in your voice, which is uh, I love, and I, I love your. Look, I think it's very musical theater, which is great. Thank you. Like you fit sort of every show, every style. Like you can stick you in any role, and I feel like it'd be it'd be good. Like you Thank do you. a really good job, and your voice fits you well, which is oh, nice. Um, so I, I just thought it was an all around really good performance. Thank you so much, Calvin Rumsberg. Um, this is a matter of personal opinion, but um, you have a great mix. Thank Some you. of these notes should be belted rather than mixed. Okay. And uh, I mean that's a matter of opinion. I, you know, I'd be happy to tell you which ones I think they are. But it's when when you melt your your, uh, it's raw emotionally. Uh -huh. uh, when you mix it, it's a slightly distant feeling. Okay. So I just think it would help you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Calvin. Dan Calloway. I have to. I will echo what Alvin, uh, what Calvin wrote. I wrote on my paper yell because I was like I wanted you to belt a couple of oh, places okay. as well. So I re I'm reiterating that. Um, that's also, with, we find the transitions in the song when there are modulations and when you feel it going into a second chorus that's more powerful. It's a, it, you need to know. So really think about the isolation. Is it, this is Eve, right? Is this Eve? Uh, no. This? Whoops. Don't, don't listen to me. But anyway, um, but, there's a, but there's a real need to know, you're demanding to know. So it's, um, you've got to really find the connection to what that is. It's, it's, the, it's the trap which you talked about. Okay. But, um, uh, and you you can just check off your voice. It's like it, you don't worry about it. There were times when you're worried about it. Just check it off the list okay. and tell the story seriously. Thank you. Seriously. Thank you, judges, and thank Thanks. you, Taylor. Thank you. Our very first contestant coming up to the stage, Miss Taylor Courtney. Yeah. I'm good. How are you? I'm well, thank you. What are you singing? Today? I'm singing a song called Fifteen Pounds. From. Oh, it's yeah. just kind of hanging out. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Anytime. Okay. Hi. Uh, so when I found out I was going to be in this competition, I was a little nervous. I just had no idea what to expect at all. So I called a friend of mine who's been involved in this competition, and um, I needed some advice. I had a few questions, and this is what he told me. You've got the most beautiful eyes I've ever seen. Gosh, thank you. Don't think any ocean comes in a shade of such amazing blue-green. Thanks. You know your disposition is sweeter than any perfume. Wow. <laughs> and with that million-dollar smile of yours, you cannot help but light up the room. Oh, gosh, thank you so much. All it took was one look at you, baby. in LA, but isn't this a singing competition? If you really want my heart to flip, girl, put on some size two jeans and make them zip, girl. If you want some roses by the bunches, get on the floor and let me see some stomach crunches. If you want to know that you are the one, lace up those pumas, baby, go for a run. Let's re-up those
think we can make it. You know what, I'm sorry, we need to stop, James. Um, I, can't, I have to come out with this. The person who said this to me is here right now. In fact, he's been at every single one of our performances. It's Michael Sterling. <laughs> I mean, I can't. But you know what? I felt a little bit better today. I felt better this morning when I saw him. Let's go, James. I ran into him in front of a tellos with his brand new wife. I mean, she could have been anyone. I don't think I've ever seen such a stick in all of my life. But I have to admit, it filled my heart with glee. To see that he himself had gained a pound or two or seventy three. Yeah, now he's fifteen pounds away from my love, baby. How's the Italian food, Michael? Is it good? He's fifteen pounds away from my love, baby. Guess he got his just desserts. Guess he got his just desserts. Now who's How was your week? Oh, good. Mellow. Pretty mellow. Yeah? Yeah. Just working, figuring song. out what to do with this. Yeah. yeah. So really a friend of yours actually right now? Oh, no. no I met a somebody. friend of mine gave me that advice. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. You I, were the friend. I thought she was when I said from the watch. Oh, oh no. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm sorry. This is um, the same composers who wrote Taylor the Latte Boy. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, I wonder. Um, we're going to talk to these one of these three gentlemen because I know they're ready right now. Okay, it looks great. like David Elzer has that look. Okay, thank you. Great way to on. Yeah, hi. Hi. Great way to start off uh, today's performance. Really funny. A lot of personality. You sounded great. Um, but my only comment is. Uh, to pick songs that are really specific to you, mm -hmm. I guess because you do not look like you're 15 pounds you know, away from his love. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, this would be a, a really fantastic song for obviously somebody a little bit right. heavier. Mm -hmm. and, but I thought you did a fantastic job. Thank you. It. Stephen Dry. Hi, Taylor. Hi. Um, I, I agree with David. Great opening of this competition today. Um, I like the, the little monologue in the beginning. It got us very into what you're doing immediately. Um, you had great personality. Thank you. Um, your responses back from the questions that you asked were good. Oh, thanks. Um, you were very present up there. Um, very natural. Thank you. Um, good telling the story all the way through. Um, and it was good using Michael as, uh, as the friend there because it was somebody that we know right. here and we can relate to. And yes, he does. Thank you. Dan Mojica. Hey, Courtney. Hello. Um, I love your voice. Very clear. Thank you. Very, very, uh, cuts through the room really nicely. I agree with my colleagues here. Great for an inside mm -hmm. song for this room and for this competition. Works really well. Don't know how it would work elsewhere. Right. Uh, you, you obviously can't adapt this to, you know, an yeah. audition or something like that. But um, I like your personality a great deal. You might want to think about. Uh, as that alter voice, a little bit more surprise. Maybe use a little different tone when you're talking, when you're doing the other person. Okay. Uh, just to give us some variance in there, yeah. so it's not all one, one note. Yeah. Uh, some comic things in there, which are really great. Again, the surprise of the songs at the very end that it is Michael. Mm. Okay. Like he's he's he looks much better than you think. Oh no, he looks great, and he's so supportive. He's the exact opposite of the guy I was just talking about. <laughs> In case anyone didn't know. But a great original tune to use as well for, Thank for you. yourself. Good job. Thank, Thank you so you much. Thank, Thank you, Michael.